The relationships between the animals that live in the undergrowth are full of such deceits and impostures. Here in Australia, there's an intriguing example that has only just been discovered. This is a feather-legged bug. It too manages to persuade prey to come close, but its invitations are aimed not at bees, but ants. And what the ants get is a very nasty surprise. Like all members of the bug family, this one has a long tube for a mouth. Most stick it into plants to suck sap. Using it to eat an ant is more difficult. The bug starts by waving to passing ants. The feathery flanges on its legs are so large they can be seen from quite a distance. The ants are visibly intrigued, but they're not yet close enough for the bug to attack, so it reinforces its gestures by producing a chemical perfume that the ants find irresistible. They come closer still. They climb all over the bug, trying to find the source of this strange, compulsive smell. And the bug does nothing to stop them. Where does that smell come from? Is it on the bug's legs? The bug now answers the ant's questions. It lifts itself up and reveals a gland on its underside. That's what's producing the smell. The ant presses its head against the bug's chest to actually taste the gland. It's the perfect position for its own execution. The bug stabs its mouth into the back of the ant's head. So a tube can be used to suck nourishment from an insect as well as from a plant. This is the rogue of the bug family, a killer. <laughs>